Hey, good morning. I'm sitting out here reading through the blogs. Um, and came across a few stories, child, that I felt like, well, Tammy, do you got something to say about that? Yes. Yes, I do. Um, so the first thing I want to talk about, which I thought was funny, child, was Lotto and Rennie Rucci. Okay, was arguing. The girls was fighting, child. The girls was fighting. Um, because what had happened was another rapper named Amy Luciano had came at Rennie Rucci saying, how you just going to take my song and do it bar for bar? Steal it bar for bar. And so then Rennie Rucci had came back and said, I don't know what you're talking about, girl, because the record label has sent me over a reference we both had a reference track and you know i did the song they gave it to me and i was trying to please my label and i did the song then what had happened was amy said i don't know what you're talking about no reference track because it's my song i wrote it i did it we ain't sent it to you <laughs> so lotto jumped in the in the conversation and then she had said um See, that's what you get. You always basically like that's what you get. You're always stealing people's stuff. And so then Rennie Rucci went back at Lotto and said, Well, I know you're not talking because your pen game ain't even tight. And you didn't have all this to say when I did that diss record. And Lotto said, Well, why would I write a diss record against you when I won't even know who wrote your shit? I might be dissing Amy. <laughs> ah, the way I fell out at that, that that was a good little kiki. That really was a good little kiki for me. She said, I might be dissing Amy, okay? <laughs> that was that was a great little comeback from Lotto. Because it's like, yeah, I ain't going to spend my time up in the studio writing, putting, putting my pen to paper, and then somebody else wrote your rap. Let's make it a fair fight if we going to do it. So we going to see how that play out. Sabrina... What's her name? Peterson. The y'all know her, the one who had all the um who had started all of this stuff with um T.I. and Tiny, right? So she was over on I think I seen this on the neighborhood talk. She was on that up on there and she did a live talking about um if y'all just apologize, I'll drop my suit. Everything'll be over if you just apologize and you got seven days to do it. Now, here's what I got to say about this. Girls, a bitch. <laughs> if you don't go on somewhere with this shit, Sabrina, now let me tell you what you done done. You started a whole train. You was the conductor of this train against T.I. and Tiny and these allegations. If these allegations were something so minimal that an apology would suffice then you could have had kept this shit to yourself you got people jumping on buying tickets to get on this train with you you know coming out 10 20 year old cases and i'm not saying that things didn't happen because i don't know one you know the truth or not the truth so i'm not going victim shame if if they believe that thing these things happened or if these things really happened to them i'm not going victim shame okay but what I'm saying is you have basically discredited those people's claims because you started this process. And now you're saying, well, if you just say sorry, then I'm going to get on down the highway. That's not good enough because these people don't lost shows. These people don't lost income. These people have been scrutinized in the public. These people can't even child they can't even go to church they had went to church and they got up at that podium and everybody said jesus let me get out the building because the damn church was halfway empty they said you will not strike this church down while they in it and i'm sitting here too you know but i'm just saying they have suffered at the hands of your claim and I don't think that was fair. Now, do I know T.I. and Tiny? Yes, I do. Have I ever heard these stories? No, I haven't. Have they ever propositioned me? No, they haven't. And I got that good, good. So, you know, I should have been on the list. No, I'm just, I, that, that was 
too soon. Too soon for that joke. But, um, they, you know, and so I here again, I'm not going to speak on whether this stuff is true or not. We have to let that part of the story and scenario play out for these people and for them. But what I will say is Sabrina, what you have done has minimized the truth factor. Because now how you said you were so stressed and you suffered and you, you were so abused and they did this and they did that. And those claims, okay, who the allegations were so significant that the world shifted their opinion on T.I. and Tiny. And now when you come out and approach it, like you ate my piece of chicken, you got, you know, I believe that you owe me an apology. Like it's, you've minimized it to something insignificant by saying, if you just apologize, girl, it ain't nobody that could drug me. It ain't nobody that could beat me. It ain't nobody that could lie on my child, do something to my child, whatever's going on. And that an apology is going to fix it. So now we got to say, were you even telling the truth? And all the people you brought with you, are they telling the truth? That's what you set this up for. And it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. I, 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 I might have to smoke a cigarette on this video behind that because I was like, girl, okay, <laughs> girl, what you have done to these people and now an apology is all it'll take. You know, it's ridiculous. I'm going to move on from that. Joe Brown. Joe Brown had a day, didn't he? He went in on all the girls. Okay? And I don't know why it was just females. I, he spoke on Kamala Harris. I ain't going to speak on that because he might have had a couple of truths up in there. He might he might have had an equally yoked opinion to me on some things as it pertains to her. So I'm going to leave her alone. But then he decided he was going to go off on Cardi B and Lizzo about the content that they provide on social media. Okay, and this is what I have to say about that. Do they, will Lizzo show you her ass? Yes, she will. Do we always want to see it? No, we don't. Does Cardi have a certain type of aesthetic with her music? Yes, she does. Are people listening? Yes, they are. Okay, and are there male artists out there who do the same thing? Yes, but you didn't have anything to say about them. It was all rants about females. And I like Joe Brown. I watch his show. I, I, I rocks with Mathis, Judy, and Joe Brown. Okay, so this is not an attack on him but more so to be able to have conversation and dialogue about what the fuck he was talking about and i feel that women are finally at a time where we are unapologetic about who we are lizzo is very confident in who she is and i personally feel that that should be celebrated because we you know we know She's a, 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 a curvy girl. And for many, many years, the way that the world and media and public perception has been set up, curvy wasn't always in. All right? And the standard of beauty that the world had fallen into was not inclusive to the curvy girl. Lizzo has been able to step out and say, this is me and I love me. And you gonna get all this ass. It should be celebrated, not tolerated. All right. And I, re and I, I and I'm, I'm coming at you real for that with this. In terms of Cardi B, Everybody always talks about what how Cardi B's lyrics and what Cardi B's saying and how she's doing and, and my kid gotta look at you. No, the fuck your kid don't. 
No, your kid fucking don't, okay? Cardi has an Instagram. She's got the YouTube. She's got videos that she pulls puts up. We know what Cardi's content is. Even when she was before the Love and Hip Hop and she was doing the Instagram videos, Cardi has been unapologetically herself for a very long time, okay? And, and <clears throat> as parents, we have to stop making other people who's not in our household accountable, holding them accountable for how we are raising our children or lack thereof. Because I personally feel if your child is of a certain age where they cannot process the content that Lizzo or Cardi B is putting out, and they should not be following them if they even have these social media outlets, they shouldn't be following them. And you as parents need to be more hands-on. When I'm out, I see these parents they with their kids. You know what the kids got in their hand? A damn iPad. Instead of the kid, ha instead of the parent having conversations, the parent talking to the child, the parent spending quality time with the child, they got the kid with the damn iPad. All right? So that's how your kid is seeing this stuff because you're not being hands-on in the rearing of your child. And another thing, I have often said that people do need to be, in terms of the celebrity lane, okay, that you need to be cognizant of the imagery that you are putting out. Because no, you did not ask to be a role model, which is what a lot of celebrities often say, right? I didn't sign up to be no role model. No, you didn't. But it's an unwritten standard that happens, right? When you reach a certain level of celebrity, people's going to be looking. You then have to say to yourself, am I happy with my presentation? If you are able to say, you know what? No, there's some things I want to change. A la like I did. Go the fuck on and change them. But if you say to yourself, yes, I'm happy with what I'm putting out. I am comfortable in my skin. I am um, accepting of the presentation and the imagery that I'm putting out. I'm controlling this narrative in the way that I want to. You have the right to do that and not feel pressured that we are putting our responsibilities on you. Catch that. Because there's a deeper message. You've got to stop putting your responsibilities off on other people. And I mean that shit. Okay? I sure do. I mean that. Because how you want to live your life how you want the, the 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 narrative of your story to be how you want things to run in your household is your responsibility it ain't lizzo's it's not lizzo's responsibility and you have to be more hands-on in what your children are listening to and watching and if you see that it's somebody that uh sometimes is or most times is going to be putting out stuff that you don't agree with. You have to take the capability of your child seeing that away from them. And or do what I did and have a conversation about it and explain to them what it is they're seeing. And what it is they're listening to. And your children are very smart. They are very uh, aware and adept to understand things. And that's where I feel, my eyebrows is popping. That's why I feel like some parents go wrong. Sit your kids down and explain it to them. Say, now this is what Cardi B has said about this WAP. And this is what WAP means. But you, my daughter, at 12, you, you ain't WAP, okay? Your shit is dry. And so you don't need to be floating around acting like you got WAP. <clears throat> In fact, le listen, 
In fact, okay, you need to go sit your ass down and get in them books. Get in them books and read a little something. We are gonna turn Cardi B off for today. If that's the case, you know, if that's even the case in your household. But Joe Brown, I feel like you didn't address any men. I feel like they always talking derogatory and putting out content about women that's not always uh it's not always respectable but you didn't have anything to say about that and i i i didn't appreciate that you made it a one-sided conversation because it's not just women out here and here again it's not their responsibility to raise people's children if that's not what they are choosing to do with their imagery and their content. It's other people out here for that. It's other people out here for that. You know? And that's what we got to understand. And I'm going to get on up out of here, but I did want to touch on them three stories because they were on the blog. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and like. And for, Oh, one more thing. For y'all talking about how this video gets so many views and, and uh, ain't no likes. Because I turned the likes off. I keep my likes private. Y'all don't need to see my analytics. Okay, but still like it because I can I can track it. So I like when y'all like and subscribe, but you don't need to see it. Um, So that's that. And then drop down in the comments and tell me how y'all feel about this, child. Because it's Saturday and I'm going to be running errands. And so I'm going to come back and check the comments and see what y'all talking about. And let's have a conversation. Bye, y'all.